The doctor is in. Hi guys, it's Dr. Sal from DrSecrets.com. Thank you so much for joining in. Today we're going to take a look at what is a prostate exam? Well, a prostate exam is a bit like uh, trying to feel for your lymph nodes or trying to feel your sinuses or any other uh, palpable phenomenon in the body. The prostate is uniquely situated in such a way that we can actually feel it with our fingers as uh, healthcare practitioners. So why is it important to feel the prostate? Well, first off, uh, there's only a limited amount of information that we can ascertain through a blood test. There is a blood test that uh, looks at some of the products of the prostate, which is called the PSA or prostate specific antigen. But um, checking, physically checking the architecture of the prostate cannot be done through a blood test. The blood test can only tell us so much. So, we physically use our digit to feel the volume of the prostate and some other features of it. So why is it important to find out um, the volume or three-dimensional structure of the prostate? Well, because of its unique situation in the body. I'm not so sure how well you'll be able to see this online, but this is a diagram here of what we're doing, using a finger to feel the prostate through the rectum or through the anus. Um, and what's What's interesting about the sighting of the prostate is that it's right beneath the bladder. <clears throat> so with, it can cause impediment or impeding the flow of urine through the bladder. Now, that in itself, um, there's, there's other things that can also cause uh, flow problems of urine, but they're much harder to ascertain. For example, uh, suppose you had a stricture here in the urethra of the penis. That can also cause um, flow obstruction too. But it's a heck of a lot harder to find out um, that that's occurring without doing a bladder scope. With the prostate on the other hand, if that's the source of the problem, that culprit can be determined within a couple of minutes in the office by doing a prostate exam. So why don't we just send everybody for an ultrasound of one or a CAT scan because those images could uh, show the information as well. Well. Um, Honestly, the reason is very simple, capacity. If we started sending every Dick, Bob and Harry, pun intended, for <laughs> ultrasound of the prostate, the diagnostic imaging service would quickly be overwhelmed. So it's much easier to just um, perform this test in the, in the physician's office. So um, that being out of the way, let me just show you this little illustration here. So this is just a, a quick schematic looking at somebody uh, from their side. If this is their um, uh, penis here, testicles here, the bladder is up here, right beneath the bladder is the prostate, and this little line running down here in gray, that's just to show you the flow of the urine. So it passes down through the prostate and out into the world, into the uh, toilet. Uh, in addition to that, from the testicle, I haven't illustrated that here, but through the vas deferens, the products for insemination pass through here and also join up to the prostate. So it's believed that one of the purposes of the prostate is to add like a little care package to the sperm on their way out into the world, uh, provide some nutrients and stuff in the um, sperm fluid. So that's why it sits there at the nexus between urinary flow and seminal flow. All right, so that out of the way. Um, this little diagram here is just a, a little schematic of what the prostate kind of looks like, but I'm going to show you an actual three-dimensional model so you have a much better idea of <clears throat> what we're feeling for. But before I do that, um, let's just talk about how to assume the position for the test. So there's two main ways of doing it. Uh, with this little 3D model here, one method is, the most common method is to put the individual to lie on their side. And as you can see here, I used a male model. And part of the reason for that is not sexism, but females do not have a prostate. So the prostate exam is something just unique to us guys. Um, so we have the joy of this test. They have other tests like pap tests, which we don't get. This is our version of the pap test, I guess you could say. So laying the individual on the side, if this is the bed here flat, um, I'm just gonna turn them around. It's kind of in a baby position then the physician can insert the finger through the anus into the rectum here and feel the prostate towards the front here. 
<clears throat> the method that I employ in clinic is um, a little different. What I do is I just get the individual to stand up. They're already standing when they come into clinic. I just get them to bend over my exam table. Um, that gives me access. Uh, insert the finger through the anus, press towards the front, and in this front region here is where the prostate is, um, which you can also see from this diagram too. It's somewhere between the anus and the testicles, so somewhere in that middle, middle man zone there. So for the actual procedure, obviously we are gloved up. If somebody comes at you not gloved up, uh, you probably wonder why. So here's gloves. Uh, it would be gloves just like this. This is exactly what I use in clinic. And then we use a lubricant like KY Jelly or some kind of derivative or generic of that brand. And you put that on liberally onto the index finger. Then introduce it. I don't know if you can see that so well um, here, but oh, he's coming from the other side, but introduce it through the rectum with a gloved finger, obviously. And then you press down towards the front to feel the, um, the prostate gland below the bladder. So what are we feeling for? Well, here's another three-dimensional model of what the prostate gland looks like. Normal, uh, enlarged through the passage of time as you get older, it's called benign prostatic hypertrophy. And then abnormal, this guy here has some kind of a tumor growing, um, distorting the architecture of the prostate gland. Also appreciate the, the canal in the center here and up here the trigone of the bladder. So this is where the, the bladder um, is attached and this is the, the urethra passing through here which then carries the urine out to the outside world. Now in a lot of um, books and literature and stuff and on the internet you'll see a lot of sites say uh, it's like an almond. Uh, I kind of disagree with that. What I typically feel, it feels like the, the top part of a plum, a small plum. It even, I don't know if you could appreciate this here, but you see there's a groove there. There's two lobes to the prostate, so there's a little groove there. You can see that better on this big one than on the normal one. But that groove is one of the things that we're feeling for. Um, if that groove is lost, that suggests that one side is encroaching onto the other side where it's not supposed to be. So we're feeling for the groove there of the prostate. The other thing we're trying to feel is the volume. How big is it? Is it normal size or is it bigger like this guy or really abnormal like this one? Um, then we also feel there's a, a mucosal lining over it, which is like the rectal mucosa. You want that to feel like it's mobile and moving across. You're also checking for tenderness. Does he, does he go ouch when you press down? If that's the case, either you're doing it too hard um, or you may have prostatitis, inflammation of this or infection of this gland. Um, the other thing we're feeling for is symmetry. Both sides, both lobes should, should feel symmetrical. This guy here, this is abnormal. One side is much larger than the other. This guy has a tumor process going on. Then um, the other thing we're also feeling for is that it's nice and soft, just like a plum. If you, it feels all hard and craggy like bacon, uh, that is not normal. That poor individual is probably suffering with uh, prostate cancer. You have to break, break the bad news to them. So um, that is basically a prostate exam in a nutshell. Again, no pun intended. And um, I hope that will take away some of the trepidation you might have if you were due for one coming up. It's a very simple test. It takes less than, I would say, less, literally less than a minute once you're addressed to just go and feel around, poof, information. Um, and it's a, it's a very quick way of, of determining um, pathology of the prostate gland or urinary tract and ruling out the, some of the biggest causes of urinary difficulty in males. So thanks again for watching. That's uh, Prostate Exam in a Nutshell. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and share if this is useful to yourself or someone else that you might know. And have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Get notified of new videos. Subscribe now.